On the 15th of April, 1945, the British 11th Armored Division liberated Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Next to thousands of unburied dead bodies, they found approximately 60,000 inmates who were starving and ill due to outbreaks of typhus or tuberculosis. The Allies also captured male and female Nazi personnel responsible for these horrors, who could not flee in time to escape the British forces. One of them was Ansgar Pichen. Ansgar Pichen was born on September 22, 1913, in Esbjerg, Denmark. His father was a Dane, and in 1914 the family moved to Upper Silesia, then part of the Weimar Republic, which was the German government from 1919 to 1933. In June 1922, the Weimar Republic ceded Upper Silesia to Poland, and Pichen and his family became Polish citizens. On September 1, 1939, Germany invaded Poland, and the Second World War had begun. In late May 1940, Ansgar Pichin was conscripted into the German army. He was sent to the Eastern Front, but was wounded in November 1942. He left the hospital in January 1943 with his left hand crippled as a result. In March 1943, he was sent to Brechhammer Labor and Prisoner of War Camp, which was the subcamp of Auschwitz concentration camp, and he stayed there until January 1945 when the camp was evacuated. On about March 11th, he arrived in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, where he committed his worst atrocities. Here, he was responsible for the management of the camp kitchen, and like his colleague Karl Francio, who worked as a cook here, he also enjoyed shooting prisoners who came around the cookhouse. Pekin admitted to having a pistol, but claimed he had never used it. He even said he had been on good terms with his internees, as they had been working well and were hungry. However, on one occasion he was seen shooting dead two male prisoners who were taking some turnips because they were starving. Food rations in Bergen-Belsen were extremely low. An official ration scale was half a liter of coffee in the morning and half a liter of soup for lunch and dinner. Sometimes, but never more than twice a week, the prisoners got bread, but in the latter period of the war there was no bread at all. Pichin was captured by the British forces together with other German Nazi criminals, such as Franz Stoffel and Johanna Bormann, and was forced to help bury thousands of dead bodies which were lying across the camp into mass graves. While burying the Holocaust victims, he contracted typhus and was taken into the hospital where he recovered. He was tried at the Belsen trials and convicted of atrocities which occurred during his stay in Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. As with his other Nazi colleagues, he pleaded not guilty to the charges brought against him and denied everything he was accused of. When asked about carrying a stick or upper truncheon and mistreating the prisoners, he also responded that he did not. He even claimed that he had never worn an SS uniform, even though he belonged to the SS. However, his lies did not help him escape justice. On November 17, 1945, a tribunal sentenced Ansgar Pekin to death by hanging. He was 32 years old when the British executioner Albert Pierpont carried out the sentence on the 13th of December 1945. There were no tears shed for Ansgar Pekin. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips, give us a like, and see you in the following episode.